Hello and welcome to the second lecture of our course on Filmora. I believe that you would have downloaded and installed the software on your systems. Let's run it. And when we first run, it asks for choose an aspect ratio for the video we are going to make. There are four different aspect ratios listed as 16 ratio 9 wide screen which uh, you know which we normally use while making the video 1 ratio 1 is square or instagram if you are making a video for instagram for your insta, insta handle so you can make 1 ratio 1 is square uh, video and you know you can upload on your handle 9 ratio 16 portrait mode or a mobile screen ratio you know when you are holding your mobile portrait so that's the perfect ratio you can work on 4 ratio 3 is standard or I, or I can say that this is now obsoleting because more people are using either portrait mode or 16 ratio 9 and 21 ratio 9 is the cinema we are going to choose the first one which is 16 ratio 9 well this is the interface of Filmora very simple lightweight and I tell you it is engaging I mean this feature rich software has everything you might think of and in a manner that anyone can easily use it the interface can be divided into three main components the media library the preview window and the timeline the media library or resource center it is the place where you can import all of your stuff like images footage audio graphics etc the media library also contains transitions effects filters i'm sure you would like filmora's split screen uh, option which is pretty cool text effects elements these are worth using tools i must say preview window the preview window has all the necessary controllers which a conventional video editing software normally has like play pause moving frame by frame audio record muting the audio full screen capture image record video via laptop camera etc the timeline the third main component of filmora is the timeline all the edits cuts effects filters mixing i mean all the magic takes place here it has tracks both video and the audio a separate track for the text is also here the timeline also has some other controllers like zoom in and zoom out marker record audio render preview that's all from the interface lecture next up is about the media library and subcomponents of it